Jonesy a 3-2 win over Longridge in the end. <laughs> All the emotions in the world in that game. Yeah, it, it was a great way, great way to end it, wasn't it? I think. Um, yeah, we're really happy. Like I think we, we deserved on the balance um, to win the game. Um, you know, we were brave. Um, certainly two 0 down. You kind of got nothing to lose at half time to a certain extent, but we just asked them to do what we should have done in the first half, you know, in the second half, and you know they did that. I thought the group that, that started the second half did really, really well, put us on the front foot, and um, then again the finishers came on. And when the game's broken, you know, when I say broken, like a little bit less kind of structure to it, like your players like Steve and, and Charlie, like they're just going to have a bit of a field day, and, and, and that's how it turned out, fortunately. Obviously, two 0 down at half time. What, what are you, what are you thinking at two 0 down? Obviously, you're not, gonna, you're not going to sort of maybe changed too much in the game but what were your initial thoughts at 2-0 down? I thought you know they, they had a lot of possession and we knew they would they were a really good team mm. they're a good young team they're confident on the ball their rotations in the middle of the pitch the last four times we played them are, are excellent so you know we knew that they would cause us problems I think maybe you know I'll, I'll take one on the chin and maybe we played a little bit too deep first half and that allowed them the space to play um, you know but we had some really good opportunities to counter attack and I, I, don't, I don't think we did that particularly well but you know we were winning the ball back too deep a little bit so um, aside from the, the two goals which for me are both very preventable goals and you know our fault rather than their good play um, I don't think they really troubled us yeah. that much mm. um, but having said that we didn't really put a glove on them at all and we were, we were always just two yards too late to everything um, so yeah it was a case of actually kind of going look this is what we're meant to be doing let's go and do that and see where we go um, you know we we explained why it's not the system it's the you know if we'd have changed to a 4-3-3 three, three, it would have caused more problems if we'd gone to a back five it would have caused more problems in a different way so it's, this is why we're playing the way we are let's just go and deliver it and, yeah. We did that second half and, you know, uh, even going down to 10 men, I thought we were excellent. Like, the shape was really good. When we, when they got through us, it was because we weren't quite in the right space rather than their good play again. And, you know, that's what really makes me believe in the group because when they really do understand where they need to be in relation to each other and the ball and the opposition, we're going to be really, really difficult to play against. And then we've got the quality that we saw in that second half going forward as well. You know, we missed a lot of chances in the second half and um, it was really pleasing in the end to, to, to come back from 2-0 down and play however long it was with 10 men and, and, and score the winning goal. And yeah, awesome. And for you know the goal scorers on the day, both your strikers scoring as well must be really pleasing and obviously the winner from Steve it's funny because we obviously interviewed him pre-match and okay, he mentioned yeah. that you know maybe he's not had the minutes that he wants this season and for him to get that moment you know is, yeah, you brilliant. must be made up oh 100% like, like brilliant like he's such a, a good man Steve do you know what I mean um, you know he, he, he's brilliant and he's so committed to the group and he just wants to play and they all want to play and I ultimately end up disappointing far more players every Saturday than yeah. I make happy so um, for him to have the reaction he has and then come on and score the winner with a right foot um, effort is brilliant for the two centre forwards to score is great Dan was trying his best not to score tonight I think but <laughs> eventually managed to sneak one in there so um, yeah like it, it's good you know, you know that second half performance is what we have to build on through the rest of the season and if we do that for the next 10 games and we'll have a right good chance of winning some football matches and that atmosphere when we scored the winners right the fans were really really superb today weren't they they were they were excellent i think you know it was one of those games where they needed us to show the fight for them to then back us yeah. uh, first half it was quiet wasn't it in some ways they, they tried their best but we weren't really showing them what they wanted to see on the pitch and once they saw that they were fantastic and you know as soon as we scored the first goal then it did really feel like we were we were going to win and um, even when we went down to 10 men I thought you know there's, there's lots in it for us here because of the players we've got um, and, and the, how, how they can change a game when they're given a little bit of space and time and, and you know that's kind of how it how it worked out congratulations well done thank you